Welcome to the Halo Outreach Podcast, where we reach out to you, the Halo community, to keep you up to date on everything that's going on in the Halo universe. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number 38 of the Halo Outreach Podcast. You can find us on Spotify and Podbean, as well as YouTube as well. But today we are gathered with our lovely co-host, the Patman Gaming with his nice little <laughs> lock, bo- cross-eyed bobblehead. Cross-eyed lock for the win. Just sums up the lock <laughs> character, I think, in general. Just not saying there's anything wrong with people that are cross-eyed. It's just, just a you know, just a fail on the on the maker's part. If you guys can can see that. Which yeah. way is he looking? Is he looking this way? Is he looking that way? Who knows? He's like a, he looks like an iguana. He's like looking both ways <laughs> outwards. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Or a chameleon, right? A chameleon. Yes, yes, not that's a, a chameleon, yes. not a guan. I got wow. learn your reptiles. With my, yeah, I got to learn. My, yeah, what is this, elementary? You just pissed off the whole reptile. reptile community, dude. Oh my god! I'm about to get some angry tweets about this one. <laughs> and right, okay, anyway. So. <laughs> so today on the podcast, we're going to be talking about Halo MCC bug fixes. As you know, Halo Two and Halo Three are kind of messed up at the moment. And literally just like an hour or two before recording this podcast, we got an update on the Halo support side with the current status of the bug fixes and it's looking very promising. So we'll get into some details about that. Afterwards, we'll talk about obviously the release of Halo 2 anniversary onto the PC and what our experience has been with that. If we think it was a sold release, my little bug issues, you know, because well, we mentioned that previously. And then we'll also talk about the new ways for anybody to become have a potential to become a pro halo player with the halo mcc pro series as well and talk about the ways you can sign up take part and make potentially make yourself into a professional halo gamer by just sitting at your room being an amazing halo boy or grill (laughs) but before we get into that pat how was your week how you been since the last podcast episode any craziness happened on on uh, your side of the uh, the states um that's a good question uh nothing crazy i would say however uh we on like on my side of things we are uh streaming some resident evil 2 which if you know anything about me i'm a big baby when it comes to horror so uh that's been fun people have been (laughs) <laughs> enjoying watching me literally piss myself on stream because every little corner i'm just like uh, it's a sick <laughs> yeah so that Dude, i mean I it's a really good game too. yeah yeah i don't do horror at all but people wanted to see it and i heard it, people keep telling me it was really good and it, it is really good so far so i've been enjoying that and uh you know doing the good old continuing a couple missions a week on the good old lasso whoa voice crack <laughs> lasso last grind scene, man. it does man it <laughs> fucking breaks me as a man it breaks me my manhood um uh, on the last level just a kick in the balls it it was <laughs> um we just did library the uh we finished the library like the sunday or saturday saturday i think um yeah and that took like three or four hours to complete just by itself so that was that was not fun but besides that <laughs> I've been good. How you been doing? Well, what's what's new with you on, on your side of things? Doing well. Besides, uh, besides couches, let's yeah. Go oh down God. that hole. <laughs> uh, basically, I was trying to get a couch and for my sister and trying to get away our current couch, and it was just a pain in the ass. Eventually, we did end up getting the couches. Everything is fine. Like it was a knowing circle of who's doing what task at what time. But anyway, so. Coordinating things with family is always coordinating things with your family is always super easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, I was not able to finish the last or Jedi Fallen Order. <laughs> I was gonna yeah, say I last one for some reason. You got too uh, distracted, dude. You got too distracted, man. You didn't have your eyes <laughs> on the prize. Uh, but I will plan to finish that up. But just I'm grinding out the the Halo Two awesomeness because it's fun. I'm having yeah. a good time with it. And. Uh, in my free time, though, I've kind of also taken a little less time playing video games and talk, going into programming a little bit. If you guys remember during the summer of 2019, I took some Python courses to try to get a new skill set for job stuff and all that greatness. 
and I kind of fell on the loop for the last few months, just getting distracted with holidays, and then uh, just, you know, blur. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was being intimidated for trying to get into the thing. So now I'm stepping up, getting into Python coding. I'm trying to make a program that will uh, count down respawn times for uh, Halo 2 anniversary weapon, power weapons and power ups and stuff like that. Oh. So basically, while you're playing, you hit like a hot key, starts an ad timer, and once that timer is done, it makes a little beep noise letting you know that, hey, the sniper rifle spawned up, which I think would be a super useful program to have. I'm trying to figure that whole thing out. <laughs> <clears throat> Make me a bot on Twitch <laughs> for that, because I think that'd be a really cool Twitch bot to have like weapon timers to put in chat. Oh, like, hey, yeah, I totally could do something with that, yeah. Do Nightbot. You don't, yeah. Have you know, Twitch viewers be like, you know, exclamation snipe. Yeah, and then they could they could interact. That'd be a cool interaction and cool way to time power ups. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Now to completely write it, rewrite everything. Thanks, Pat. No problem. So that's uh, should have came to me first, dude. Should have came to me first, man. I have I have ideas. <laughs> Nobody asked. Oh, that's actually a good idea, though. But yeah, yeah. And so I've been getting into that. So far, I have. I'm trying to get down. I just need to abruptly get down the the one code that does the timing in the UI. And I can just replicate it just over and over again throughout the rest of this. And I'm getting really close. I got it. So now you press the button. It counts down the time. So now you just need to replicate it and just link all the UIs properly. And uh, make set up hotkeys and stuff. But we're getting real close with that. Anyways, so getting a little sidetracked. Currently, MCC is a bit of a mess right now. Yeah. And, um, you know, obviously, 343 and their partner members at Sabre and other associated teams are working on the situation as at the moment. So I figured we'd give you a nice little update on uh, May 18th, literally, um, as it says, two hours ago. So uh, probably more like three hours now because this probably hasn't update. But it's been like three hours of the recording of this podcast. We got an update. So hot off the press for you guys. I'll show you guys what we're talking about here. Uh, we'll just read it out, right? Because it's a pretty short update right here. Just saying... After further investigation with our internal teams, we believe that we have fixed all three of the issues outlined below. Halo 2 projectiles, Halo 3 match stability, Halo 3 crashes on Valhalla. Pending further testing and verification, the build with these fixes will be sent through our certification pipeline and eventually release in an upcoming hot fix. As the build moves through this standard release process, we will continue to share daily updates on this process. And if you see anything else, make sure you go to the Halo support website. So basically meaning you're not going to be getting shot from random rockets or being killed by people shooting the shotgun into the ground or sniper rifles be shots betraying you. <laughs> it looks like they figured that out. And it uh, looks like it's going to be coming pretty soon. I assume later this week, we'll probably see an update on this, which is going to be great. Because... When this Halo 2 release and all these bugs came out, like I was having just PTSD 2014 flashbacks of just like that again. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, uh, but man, it's good to see that they are fixing this stuff. Um, I did see that they mentioned other errors that they found. Like, there apparently there was like a legacy bug in Halo 2 that was in the original launch that they looked like they were able to pinpoint, not as a pinpoint down to fix, but they found it out. I'm looking to fix that as well. Uh, so there's quite a few things going on with that, but at least like now, Halo 2, but nothing about the hit registration, which I saw a few things about hit reg being quite uh, inconsistent, to say the best. Yeah, <laughs> with, yeah. Uh, yeah I've experienced that a few game. times on, on Classic. Now that could also be the issue, because it seemed like apparently the projectile issue was with if you're looking down, it will shoot at other people who are looking down at the same time. Yeah. Which is a very odd bug to have. Extremely but, odd. Yeah, well, we saw like that one video that uh, I was thinking it was probably someone, that, a partner at Saber, would probably post up that video real quick, just kind of showing like, okay, now you look down, okay, now you look up, <laughs> you know. It's like I don't very know if that was anybody look. official because yeah, in the comments, I mean, they it could be, but they like called out three four three in the comment section. They they replied, so I like with a reply, they were just like, dude, they're like, how does this glitch even happen? And they just respond with because three four three, and I was like. I don't know if that's a partner because 343 lawyer is going to be coming after them like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and so it's 
you know, Ram still, especially since um, I watched a video from oh God, I'm blanking on his name. He does a lot. He does a lot of modding content on his YouTube channel. I referenced his video, basically saying that like Halo 2's engine is held together by popsicle sticks and duct tape. Is what how you mentioned it. <laughs> And the fact that they were able to get anything done, the fact that the game even works properly is a miracle. Because Halo 2's development, if you guys don't know, was hell. And they've had to basically com- com- re- write, rewrite everything six months before launch. Yeah. Which is, yeah, stuff like that will happen. And it but, still uh, ended up being one of the greatest games of all time. Yeah, really uh, just, yeah, pretty insane. You definitely know that they probably spent like, 80 hour work weeks trying to get that game done before yeah. according to a couple of people on my on my youtube videos they're like yo mcc is so easy to make i don't get how they messed this up <laughs> mcc is just it's, it's so just a launcher make. it's just a launcher for the 11 games were already there for the 11 engines were already there for them to port over all they had to do is port it over it's just so easy yeah, it's it's so easy. That's why it's like, no other game in the history of gaming has eleven engines running. At I the guarantee same time. those people saying that it's this easy don't know anything about how coding works. Yes. I'm trying my ass off just to have a button count down from sixty and work in a simple basic UI. Right. That's like not flashy at all, and I'm having problems with that. Yeah. Of course, I'm obviously not a seasoned veteran when it comes to coding, but yeah. still, try making yeah, a website I'll... or something and tell me that coding yeah. and stuff is easy. One <laughs> little thing goes wrong. Fucks everything. Oh, you forgot the comma. You put a you put a period in there. Oh hell, nah. It's, <laughs> shut it down. Exactly. So uh, glad to see that's going to be fixed uh, with Halo Two and Halo Three. Um, seems like we'll, we'll see what happens when the patch hot fix does come in. Obviously, your boys here. Both of us will have, probably have our own videos to get those ad venues on <laughs> what's a. Uh, uh, the current hot fix and how the process works. Hopefully, it doesn't fix bust up anything else, but it should be just fine. But yeah, so glad to see that's going to work out just fine, guys. So other than that, though, obviously we've seen a lot of issues with like, oh my god, Halo Two is busted, Halo Three is busted, but doesn't mean that the game is not a playable, fun experience. No, I mean, yeah, it's it's uh, it's. I mean, we we've both gone to great detail on our channels about this. Um... Mm-hmm. I don't think it was an excuse. Uh, it was not an unexcusable launch. There is oh, yeah, there's some shit that, yeah, <laughs> that went down. It wasn't as bad as 2014 because we could at least oh, play yeah. the game. But <laughs> right. it was, like you said, some serious, like, oh, God, here we go. Yeah. Here we go some again. PTSD. Yeah. That good old GTA fucking <laughs> meme. The, oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh, shit. Uh, here we go again. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I felt. I was like, yeah, this uh... is... This is bad. I at first I couldn't replicate that um uh, that one bug the uh, the one on Halo Three. You actually had to go to um, I was trying to replicate it in regular Slayer, but um, there's also I don't, I don't know if you've experienced this too in Halo Three. Like there's no bullet sounds or something when you're getting shot. Like your shield bars mm-hmm. go. Tss, tss, you just hear that. Tss, 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 and then you're dead. Uh, so there's that glitch, but then in big team, yeah, 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 the big team, it's so freaking funny. Like when you, when you play, like you, you play a full match and you know, it's fine. And so like five or six minutes left and then the connection goes to shit. You press, you know, I'm on bumper jumper. So you press B to get in a vehicle and it just goes, zoop. it just drives <laughs> off on it. It's, it's a hilarious glitch. It's, I think it's a hilarious bug, but obviously it's not hilarious for the game to be breaking like that. But I, I just think it's funny to just watch i just go along the line like i was on sand trap i just went along the line sending all the like slapping a horse's butt and telling it to go off like that's all i was just doing sending all the warthogs in all directions <laughs> yeah get up boy go <laughs> you just send them on their way you just watch it go across the- it's so funny but uh yeah it's uh <laughs> unexcusable as well yes but it looks like though all that stuff is going to be resolved in the coming hot fix mm-hmm. but uh obviously we had halo 2 anniversary release on pc so with that kind of like go over like some of the new things that are in the game, especially challenges which are exactly not exactly straightforward as they should be, is my opinion. Yeah. So we can probably go over that a little bit as well. Just talking about some like new features and stuff like that. Like talking about obviously you had the new sparring and elite model viewer in yeah. Unreal 4, which does look pretty dang awesome, I should say. Obviously, we have theater mode coming in for Halo 2 anniversary and Halo Reach as well. 
Yep. Uh, if I do remember, it currently is locked at 60 frames per second for theater mode, but it doesn't bother me one bit. As long as it's at least 60, then it's fine for me. Like yeah. It's whatever. Yeah. Uh, we also have uh, weekly campaign challenges that came in, which obviously you're probably going like, well, I thought that was coming in. Where is it at? It's There's no UI built in it for the game, but it's in the game. Right. Uh, if we go check out this link right here, I can show you what we're talking about. Basically... Um, if you just any challenge, it, pretty much right now, I uh, think uh, with challenges renew on 10 a.m. on Wednesdays, yep. yes, along with the playlist updates, right? Yep, and so, uh, basically, the way the challenges are working out, that uh, you get obviously you get a certain amount of XP for completing a, any campaign mission on some level of difficulty. <laughs> see, I see you peeking, I see log peeking in right there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah and so uh on easy you get 5k xp normal 10k heroic 15k legendary 25k now I'll say if you haven't done any of the campaign missions and uh <laughs> you're making me crack up too much <laughs> say you haven't completed any of the campaign challenges you just do legendary you'll unlock the 25k the 15k the 10k and the 5k all together you get totaling for uh wait how much I think it's a total of twenty five k for legendary, and then mm -hmm. and you get the fifteen k. Yeah, you get the ten k. I think it's fifty five or something per mm -hmm. game. Um, so you could do like three three hundred thousand something XP per week. You get because you get it for each game. Uh, so you could do a Halo three. Oh, really? For mission. each game? Yep. So ODST mission, Halo Reach mission, Halo two mission, Halo one mission, Halo three mission, Halo four mission. You get it for each one. So. Um, every week so yeah you could get a, so, a, around 300 300 something thousand xp i forgot what the exact number is yeah so get yo grind on with that which i think yes. is awesome i really wish they had a ui built out for it i wouldn't think it'd be that tricky to build a ui but no. i mean i mean that's coming eventually we knew that yeah. was good we knew that was coming like me and you but to the general consumer a lot of people were like yo what where's the challenges well Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta stay informed, people. You gotta subscribe to Patman Gaming and Kevin yeah. Kulix, and then you would have known about it. Come on, people. you have known. Now you exactly. Know. Subscribe, but, uh, like, do it. Subscribe, <laughs> share it out on Twister, and uh, yeah, all those things. But um, and also, I thought the uh, weapon model changes were gonna come as well with this update, but I guess that's coming in a later update as well. What changes? The uh, weapon model positioning? Yes. Yeah, that's coming yeah. in a future update as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but also with this update came with the fix of the Magnum Pistol uh, increased bullet spread with the unlimited frames. They yeah. fixed that as well, so you guys will be able to play H Halo Combat Evolved as it should be, which I feel like that was kind of like a little unacceptable to be released in that kind of state. So I think that was brought up in the flights of CE, but then only now just got fixed like a month late, like two months later, mm -hmm. or a month later. Yeah, two months later. Yeah. Um. So that kind of was like that got fixed. So that's good. <laughs> yeah. And then um, just kind of got a lot of like little minor bugs, fixes, and stuff like that that they know about that came with this update as well. Apparently, Halo Four got a fix. The Mantis missile charge was missing the visual effects. In your Halo 4. So there you go, Pat. Your favorite Call of Duty game. Got a fix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> but um, uh, how has your experience been with Halo 2 Anniversary's release? You're muted. Oh, well, thank you. I had to mute myself because <laughs> I was thinking zero in the chat and I didn't want to be like, click, 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 click. Um, <laughs> Besides the obvious of uh, of Halo Two Classic that was broken, I I mean I it didn't bother me as much as maybe everybody else was really looking forward to because I was personally looking forward to H Two A, um, and we got some H Two A in and we actually have a ranked playlist in H Two A again, which we don't have on Xbox, so that's been really nice to go and play even though I've been constantly getting destroyed in it. <laughs> um, it's uh i thought reach was sweaty this is just an actual level of just drip yeah <laughs> drip, drip. so that you know it's been fun though and um 
did a little bit of campaign action and it, it, it it's always nice to actually be able to use a mouse and keyboard in campaign but when mm-hmm. i'm when i'm in multiplayer i just i still still just cannot get behind mouse and keyboard uh input in multiplayer so yep been one of those controller users that everybody hates so <laughs> <laughs> apparently that's a thing now in fortnite as well about the aim assist on controller being too oh. strong mm-hmm. oh. so it's not just a halo thing wow. i think it's just games in general yeah but uh get that going on but yeah, my experience with uh halo 2 is obviously classics busted that's why i haven't really touched that a whole lot but i doing a lot of h2a which i do love it i was actually kind of focusing to play mainly h2a anyways for the multiplayer side of things yeah because the h2a and h2c are two completely different games how they yeah. play and uh you know, obviously i would like to play classic because you know the feels and I think it's like the best BR in Halo is in Halo 2. Uh, hands down, yeah. And, uh, but, you know, way better we'll than that other too. game you like that's coming out next. <laughs> that's but, true. uh, but, uh, yeah, so I've been playing that. I've been playing hardcore, which I've been playing mainly on mouse and keyboard as well. And at first, I was like really struggling with the aim, aiming with mouse and keyboard, but then I realized my normal sensitivity is at 0.8 but then i realized my aim down side sensitivity is at one so i was like because i was just i don't know Who why does I, was that? That. I don't know i don't know where i didn't realize it was set to that so when i realized always it was have set to lower that, than your regular sensitivity yeah what is I, wrong with you, I, no? I turned it down to like a 0.6 now for aims down sight and then 0.8 for overall and now i've noticed DPI. a lot uh, yeah, what? and then I know it's a lot of improvement in my aim for aim down sights. But now I feel like I'm much more of a solid shot on mouse and keyboard. What so, DPI are you rocking on your mouse? Do you know? I mean, Razer Synapse says 1800. Damn. That's but right. I've heard that, 18, that Razer Synapse Razer Synapse uses its own kind of units. Mm. That 1800 is probably more akin to like 800 or 900 DPI in most software. Okay. All right. Yeah. So that what there I is that. Do like around 800. But uh, yeah, so but it's, it's been feeling good for me actually. The aiming, ever since I did that change, aim has been feeling a lot better for me on mouse and keyboard. My only issue is is my movement is definitely better on controller. And I think it's more me just having to get used to a different interface playing on mouse and keyboard. Because obviously, when you're playing with a controller and the sticks, you can kind of use more gradual movements with the right. joysticks. Where on mouse and keyboard, it's all or nothing when it comes to those inputs. Can you make that ring three jump on shrine and mouse and keyboard? Yeah, I can make that jump. Yeah, uh, I can't. I gotta use I, I any kind of mm-hmm. precise jumping. I, like you said, it might be just me being so used to using controller for so long on on Halo. Um, but yeah, I can't. But I will can't say do that kind of stuff. you have to land. You have to make your jumps more precisely on mouse and keyboard yeah. because, uh, like, say if you're doing like that jump up to you know, like on our uh, shrine reference, if you're making like a blue or red jump up to ring two, mm-hmm. you have to jump at the right time on keyboard. Where like if you you know, do it a little late on the jump on controller, you can kind of just like, oh, just kind of lean back on the stick a little bit, you know? Right. Where like on the uh, mouse keyboard, if you do a little late of a jump, you're like kind of stuttering you're like, your way back to land on it. Yeah. Which is not very the most like smooth motion to play. Yeah. So that's where I find. So I'm just kind of, my movement's definitely better on controller, but it's getting better on mouse and keyboard. But I feel like uh, my aim is just about the same um, when it comes so to trash. Yeah, pretty much. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm mainly playing hardcore on the anniversary, and I've been <clears> kind of breaking even for the most part. If I go negative, it's like you know one or two or three, like three or four negative, and if I go positive, it's like three or four positive. So it's all just kind of balancing out to about even on my kill death ratio and stuff like that. Nice. Uh, so I'm not really like going off and carrying, but I'm not a detriment to the team. Oh. Of course, right now, like the way one to fifty rank system works, it's kind of. Uh, like you got some gods that are currently rank seven, you know? <laughs> yeah. Cause I think max rank right now, I think it's probably around the thirties. So hopefully I get the chance to let the dust settle. I'll get that match against my true level sixes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Talking about sweating it up in, or is there, so actually before I transfer over, is there anything else you kind of want to mention about your experience playing Halo 2 on PC? No, or I you think just kind of keep trying just... to... <laughs> Locke is just really happy that he's in the intro cut scene to two A on PC. He's just glad he got is, the cut. So thank you. Is the portrait. light green to switch over to talk about the it is green. how to That's go a Halo Five movie. reference. Some of these PC players are gonna get that man. Oh, well they can play Halo Five on PC, but it's a kind of a Not weird version of it. <laughs> but yeah, play so. Campaign. 
Talking about sweating up in Halo, we had a recent announcement about the HCS Pro Series for the MCC. As you do know that I'm sure the original plan was to have tons of like, you know, events throughout the country of the US to be like, hey, we're having an event here. Go play some Halo, compete in your $50,000 tournaments, yada, yada, yada. Obviously, with the current events of things going on, that's not happening this year. Right. But you don't want your community to die out of all your competitive players. And so what do you do? Well, you, you adapt, improvise, overcome. Wow. And so we now we have the HCS Pro Series. So basically, these are going to be weekly tur online tournaments that are going to be held uh, for the competitive community, which is awesome. I'm really glad that, you know, 343 and their partners are taking the time to work out this kind of stuff because they could have easily been like, dude, it's MCC. No one's going to give any craps about this game in six months anyways. Just fend for yourselves, whatever. And just let me, but looks like I'm glad they're not doing that. And so basically, there's going to be alternating weeks between open tournaments and pro tournaments. Open tournaments are going to be just what it is. Any team can sign up and play against each other for some prize money. Obviously, prize money is not too great. With uh, open each turn of a tournament, it's going to be single elimination. Uh, I did look it up. There's going to be 128 spots available for different teams to join in on this, uh, which is signed up through Face It, which is a yeah. previous partner that uh, 343 had with, uh, I think, the London tournament, which was like yeah, last year or two years ago, something like that. Um, so they partnered up with them. Which I think they're known for their CS:GO, but they're definitely you know trying to get their foot in when it comes to Halo, which is great. Um, but yeah, prize money for single uh, for open tournaments can be first place two fifty, second place one fifty, third place one hundred bucks. Obviously, not really rolling in the dough, but these are going to be weekly tournaments, you guys. So bi-weekly is going to be an open tournament. And so after each open tournament, the top eight teams from that are going to progress over to the uh, pro tournaments, which will face against uh, the top eight teams from uh, DreamHack Anaheim. Okay. And so basically, then you'll have a rotating group of top eight people from the pro tournament automatically qualify for the next pro tournament. And then the top eight teams for the open tournaments will fill in the other eight teams to make it a 16-team bracket with a, a round robin single elimination Status with that one as well. Uh, we can see the dates here starting on uh, May 23rd, which is going to be this Saturday. It's going to be an open tournament. Uh, I don't know if anything's going to be streamed on this. If it is, it's going to be with individual streamers. So if you want to catch that, uh, definitely you know check out Twitch. Most likely, I'm sure Mixer for your little for your weirdos out there. <laughs> okay, Pat is literally petting. The head of Locke right now. He needs some comfort, man. A lot of the you're breaking me, very man. mean to him, man. I'm trying to They're be very, very professional mean. here, and you're breaking me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not very professional <laughs> right now. Um, but then also, suddenly, obviously, you can see the list right here if you're watching. But basically, 23rd, open bracket, open turn, or open tournament. That's all, folks. 30th, or weekend of the 30th is going to be pro. And then you have open, pro, open, pro, kind of altering that way. So far, it's all planned out until july 18th and so i'm guessing they'll probably see what's happening from there and the exit i'm partnering with their buddies over in face it now i do remember i looked at this up and i think it's not region locked either when it comes to uh, signing up with this so you can just kind of if you have a team and you're willing to fight the lag sign up i guess you know i'm pretty sure these will be u.s based matches so um, probably, yeah. they do mention in the blog update here but if you want to compete in other Halo tournaments, say, like, if you're in Europe, they have a Europa Halo. If you're in Toronto, you got your Grand Toronto Halo. Uh, SWAT Nation has their own thing going on. And also there is a, um, Australia Halo, I think that's what it's referred to as. Halo, yeah, Halo Australia. Uh, they have their own pro league going on over there as well. So if you guys feel a little, if you're an international family members of the Halo community and you feel a little left out, well, there's your other outlet. You can try to get in on that as well. Um, I did see that Tashi mentioned about how 
uh, Matt Klein is looking to find some way to do some kind of production to stream these releases pro tournaments since yeah. there is no spectator mode in uh, in the MCC because none of these classic games had uh, spectator mode initially. So they're looking to find some way to probably use utilize other people's streams to broadcast these. Um, but uh, no word on that exactly yet. If that's going to be possible. But they say they do mention that if you're going to want to watch this, we do know for sure that most likely people will be streaming these games. So if you want to catch them, you know, just catch out individual streams and uh, get to go on and do that. Now, I did reach out to them, though. I was like, hey, I've done some casting previously. You're playing your amateur players get a chance to do some pro gaming. What about let your amateur casters do some pro casting? Oh. And I did reach out, and they're like, well, we're looking to keep it in-house, but I'll let you know if, it, if we can fit you in kind of thing. But... Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> nice. From the couch. Uh, do it from the new couch. <laughs> so, Pat, how? what team are you putting together to uh, go pro in Halo? I don't need a team. I just enter myself. <laughs> and it's just how easy it is. You know, you know, you know the usual team. Me, Rapscallion, Jimbo, and then Kevin just knocking on the door. Hey, guys, can I come play? No. And he go, and then no, we slam sorry, the ghost. door on him. You say, you say, no, sorry, Ghost filled in that spot. <laughs> Damn. And, that, and uh, I'm like, ghost, yeah, that's probably Ghost a good plays move. classic Halo? What? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. <laughs> but, but yeah, so uh, those are the kind of updates when it comes to pro stuff. I think it's awesome. This is like the best avenue I've ever seen for amateur players to get a chance to play some competitive Halo at you know the high tier pro level. So if you're someone who's been trying their damnedest to get involved with some pro Halo, now is the time to get your name out there. Let people know that, yeah, I got the skills, all right? Yeah. I'm ready to play. I can keep up with the Sentinels. Yeah, former See, mantras. You got the specs to back it up, too. That's one thing I don't... <clears throat> Excuse me. That's one thing I don't <laughs> like about these uh, online tournaments, per se. It's just, you know, it's different when you're on an Xbox, but when you're on PC, you got, you know, every little thing counts you know when you're in a competitive mm -hmm. scene so you know if you have 240 hertz refresh rate and you're rocking a fucking 2080 and you're just eyes are bleeding and you're just cracked out and you're going in <laughs> versus some guy who can barely run mcc on a potato laptop that's you know got a 60 hertz monitor it kind of sucks for them but you get what you pay for you know so you know mm -hmm. I, that's that's part of the pc platform so um it would be cool if the, i don't think there ever would be a way to like lock the settings up where you had to have the same specifications across the board like a max spec rating or something would be kind of cool to have in those future tournaments but eh, whatever yeah i'm not quite sure exactly how like other games do their um yeah. in-game settings like csgo or fortnite and stuff like that like you're only allowed to have like 110 fov at most or something like that you know or yeah. some weird little rules like that or you, know, you have to run medium settings and stuff like that because you know we've seen previously in other pc games that don't really take that kind of like advantage into consideration when it comes to graphical quality like i remember seeing like in the uh, pubg when that was like the new hot game to play <laughs> and um listeners uh pat just literally just plays his block bubble head on the, the bill of his hat right now and we're just kind of sitting there watching this happen <laughs> um that like i remember in PUBG that like if you were actually playing on high settings you, know, you got all the nice grass textures and you can kind of like hide in the grass and stuff like that but mm -hmm. if you're playing on low settings all that vertical grass texture was just gone so it's just yep. flat ground so you, you could literally like see people who thought they were hidden in grass to be yep. completely visible just laying down I always open turn my field. settings down on PUBG. yeah PUBG and um I do the same thing on on Warzone, like certain certain like uh, your textures and stuff you want on low, mm -hmm. your shadows you want on low, so you can see. That... Yo, lock is dead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's definitely an advantage. So yeah, uh, but I think with the, especially with the Halo Two anniversary, there really isn't that much any kind of advantage when it comes to settings. Maybe FOV, but that's about it. Uh, I remember when they did Reach, it all pretty much looked the same to me. So I think not really much to worry about that. Um, they did actually just mention that uh, they had some major teams actually just uh, confirmed to sign up for uh, the first pro tournament, which we have the former Mantra team, 
their former mantra because uh, apparently the mantra org is just imploding right now. <laughs> and um, we have Sentinels, you know, former Tox. They are going to be in confirmed. The former Unlimited team with a little bit of a roster change is going to be three fourths of Splice uh, minus Shotzi. They replace Shotzi with uh, uh, Bound, I think, or somebody like that. That's another team, and then we also have uh, another a wild bit of a wild card team. I think it was like Trippy is going to be on that team. I can't remember exactly. I want off the top of my head. That's on that team name, but they were definitely like a wild card kind of team. I think they could cause some havoc. But as we've seen in the last few tournaments, Tox is not as dominant as they have been, and so it's I think a lot to a lot of people to see how well uh, people. They don't get a new game, new platform. A lot of things can change. Uh -huh. H2A, though, I will say the talks, which at the time I think they were Counter Logic Gaming, uh, they were pretty much like the go to team during that time. But uh, actually, no, I remember Evil Genius was. That's a different team. That was the go to team on H2A. Yeah. Yes. And so, like I said, new game, new platform, a lot of things can change. But definitely looking forward to watching that for sure. We'll probably touch on it when, next, when it happens in the next podcast. I know Pat is just super into like the. Just competitive. love the pro scene. It's so cool, man. <laughs> I love it. I've always loved it since the Halo 3 days. Yeah, because you're so a, a little bit. nerd. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're all nerds here. We're all nerds but, yeah. here. So I think it's awesome, though, again, get a chance for amateur players to get their foot in the door for the pro scene because it's always it was never was, was a straight shot to get in. Now it is a straight shot, which is mm -hmm. awesome. I really hope they continue on something like this for Infinite as well. As most likely, we will not be able to have in-person tournaments towards the end of this year either yeah and just out of safety uh because rumor has it, a second wave might happen during the winter fall and winter but again that's all speculation right so hopefully we do something like this for infinite that'd be awesome to see you got again amateur players get a chance to get your foot in the door but anyway so we can move forward on to halo playlist updates because i am sure you've listened to all this amazing halo news and information and discussion you're like dude i just Really want to play some Halo right now, but things are always changing in what's available. Guys, please tell me what I can play right now. And so, Pat, I want you to take over this. Let me way. do Halo 5 because I don't know what the hell's coming to MCC, but Halo 5, upcoming calendar. We got it right here from Udi Shack's latest community update, which he did basically go through in the word format of everything we just talked about in this podcast. So, if you guys are looking for like pictures and stuff, go ahead and check that out. But Halo 5, upcoming playlist. Um, I do want to mention too before we just, well, we could mention it after, before we end the podcast. A couple things on Halo Infinite, nothing big. Don't get excited, people. Um, so May 7th, we had Snipers and Roman King. On the 14th, Griffball came in for Roman King and Warzone Assault. Coming up on the 21st, we have Action Sack rotating, rotating in for Griffball. And on the 28th, um, for the ranked Halo 2, BR Slayer, uh, will ro actually that's still social, rotates in for Action Sack. Uh, Warzone Turbo will go live for the weekend as well, next weekend, um, not this week. So right now for Halo 5, your main offering is going to be Action Sack for your double XP. For those trying to make it to the through the final grind for 152. Um, and that's about it for Halo 5. What's coming up for mm. MCC? I know we had... Uh, there's an experimental playlist going live or something, isn't there? They they worded it so weird, but I'm guessing uh, that's AR, TV or something. <laughs> Why not bring it back? I also watched it. I think there's also mentioned that June 4th will be the new season in Halo 5. Yeah. So if you guys are trying to grind out your Onyx, we'll get there next out... week. Don't mention that yet, Kevin. That's that's too early. No, but too early. Same, but yeah, a lot of people know, like, oh god, I, I've been it's trying like, to get the Onyx. I've been trying to get some order in my new level. It's like three weeks away. Exactly. I'm just god. like yeah, a lot of people know, man. Okay, I'm just trying to help. All right, all right. Well, trying. since since he wants to mention June fourth, we also have free for all coming in for ranked in June, <laughs> and Castle Wars is coming back for the fucking yeah, free -for one millionth people time. Love the free for all, and people all love right. Castle Wars, so there's those kind of people so <laughs> yeah okay so uh the last update that we had on mcc plays updates was actually june 6th so there really isn't anything that changed but just for a friendly reminder uh halo 4 precision 
4v4, Halo, four, whoa, Halo Reach 4v4 Precision Slayer map pool has been updated, so I'm sure the rotation will be a little bit better for you guys. Rotated Griff Ball into the feature category for social. And ranked changes, Halo Reach ranked Team Slayer playlist retired, which, like, that, that was retired when it was even released. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, nobody played that. Like, people were crying, like, I want, I want it, I want it. Then they're like, okay, we'll give it to you. And they're like, I don't care about it. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so, that's okay, shame having the, that Slayer mode. I, yeah. found, I found the playlist schedule. Okay, so, big team was the big team battle update on the 13th. On the 20th, this is what I was talking about, an experimental playlist. And then on the 27th, a monthly feedback maintenance playlist, which... I don't think they've announced what that is yet, but that's what I'm saying. I think that's just AR, BTB, or whatever. And then oh, is that on, on the, the is that, that was on the, the April update? development update. Oh, uh, April development. Update. Yep. Uh, about halfway down after the field of view changes. So, uh, mm. and then Shoddy Snipers will be making a return June third on my daughter's birthday, on my firstborn's birthday. Uh, Shoddy Snipers. So, what better way to celebrate my daughter's birthday than to hop on some Halo with her and do some Shoddy Snipes? You know. I can't I'm imagine a, a better a family bonding experience exactly. than that. Exactly. If, if only I could do the same. I had kids. Well, you'll I just got the ring. Someday. That's all I can do now. Someday you'll have the, <laughs> you'll have the kids. Which I did just get the ring uh, the other day, which is pretty yes, cool. Yes, you did. Because uh, May 16th would have been my wedding day, but uh, obviously but Rona it wasn't. said no, no, no. <laughs> but my fiance got me a pretty slick ring. It's, uh, it's a titanium band. And it has two different like rocks in it. So one strip in it is meteorite. The other strip strip in it, strip strip, strip the other strip Meryl strip it is a dinosaur fossil. So I'm like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, but is this is this a verified dino fossil? What's to prevent somebody from just crunching up some dirt and be like, yo, dinosaur fossil, <laughs> dinos, dinos, <laughs> dinos were here. This is dinos. this is dirt from dinosaurs right here. <laughs> Um, you just gotta take their word for it, I guess. Yeah, it's still a pretty but, cool concept. Uh, yeah, it looks cool. I'm super happy about it. Yeah, can't imagine anything better. There you go. From a better woman. There you go. You should probably like marry her or something. Probably. Maybe yeah. you might do that like in two months. We'll see. Maybe. Nice. <laughs> if we can, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, it's not really up to you at this point. It's uh, right. it's up to Corona. But yeah, so that's all uh, the. Uh, oh, oh, let oh, me oh, talk oh. about Halo Infinite real quick, right quick, right quick. Yeah, 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 it's been confirmed, people. We already talked about this, but it's been confirmed. Halo Infinite will be at the July 2020 uh, Xbox 2020 uh, event that will be taking place, which me and Kevin will of course be live streaming and reacting to. But three for three mm-hmm. has come out themselves and confirmed it. Unicheck, you know, made it at the end of the community update. Also, there was a, another Halo Infinite leak, but that has been shot down by Unishek on Reddit. Uh, somebody made this huge leak that just, it you could tell it was fake. I, that's why I said, I commented on before, I'm like, yo, half this seems fake, but other half seems like stuff that I've said in my videos that I've wanted. So it just feels like a bunch of community feedback all in one uh, post. That Playable Elites like, is the number one thing Playable you Elites was in there, Invasion <laughs> coming back was in there. No microtransactions, but Warzone 2.0 coming back. Open world no, campaign. They've literally confirmed microtransactions are coming. They've confirmed. No no wrecks, I should say. No wrecks are yeah. in the Warzone. So no wreck cards. You know, It's just like a community. Like, yo, this is what we want kind of post, basically. Uh, but somebody said it was a leak and that it was it was for real. They swear with you know no justification at all, and then they finally came just out and it was fake. It was just yeah. text from a Reddit post. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, I'm like, glad anyway. that Unishack uh, replied to that though, because a lot of times developers like, are just silent about that. Not to say but developers, he but he didn't like, reply about the ones we've talked about earlier. True, I was gonna mention that because I didn't I didn't get a chance to see that Reddit post, so I wasn't quite sure exactly. But Six might have been copied over. Video series coming up about <laughs> speculation. There we go. Gotta get we those got ad venues, ideas. man. Gotta get the ad venues, man. Got so many <laughs> venues to add, man. But, uh, and so, uh, yeah, I didn't. We, you know, 343 was silent about the earlier leaks. Uh-huh. But these leaks, they're like, no, we're shutting this down. Yeah, yeah, shut it down. So, 
Just saying. Yeah, could be true. Just I'm saying. Gonna hear first. Just saying. Just saying the same. Just saying. But yeah, uh, I think that's gonna do it for the show, guys. But before you go, like I said, we are on Spotify and on Podbean. If you'd like to listen into the podcast without wasting your phone battery, watching the YouTube version or something like that, uh, link in the description down below for those. And links in the description for all of Pat's stuff, which, Pat, how can people find your content on the internet? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, they mm. can find me at the Patman Gaming just about anywhere. Twitch, YouTubes, Twitter, Instagrams. We got it all. Website, thepatmangaming.com. Just type it in. You'll find me. That's all I got to say. Where, where can people find you, Kevin? You can find me at, at Kevin Cool X Halo on Twitter, Kevin Cool X on YouTube, Kevin Cool X on Instagram, and on Facebook. If you want to see my Instagram posts on Facebook. <laughs> if you want to do an extra click, fucking give the man some traffic on his Facebook. But yeah, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching in, guys, or listening. I greatly appreciate it. Pat and I do as well. Every time you guys come into the podcast, last few episodes have actually gotten a lot of viewership, which has been pretty crazy. You know, a lot of people are excited about their Halo. You know, mm-hmm. can I imagine when Halo Infinite comes around? I think they're going to be real hyped, especially in July. We're going to get some Infinite game. We're getting gameplay in Infinite. There's no way we, we're not. We we don't, then community needs to get on their ass, honestly, because if yeah. they pull a game of war. <laughs> with uh halo infinite like they did last oh year oh my god <laughs> i will be pissed um very pissed so yeah or like how they did the gears tactics for like the first like 10 minutes talking about gears of war they're like we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna then, gears announcement yeah gears here we go mobile cool. and then they're like now we got gears oh, five too. oh yeah gears <laughs> fun co pop fucking I was laughing oh, my ass off the whole time that E3 reveal. I'm like, there's no way this is the reveal. This is a, such a troll. Yeah. And then they actually bad. get a little bit of Gears 5. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of that escape mode, and then that was it. No campaign gameplay, which we don't get campaign and multiplayer gameplay. I'm going to be pissed. But yeah. but yeah. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for listening and watching into the podcast, as always. If you're in the Twitch chat, guys, we'll do a little Q&A afterwards. Maybe do a little bit of a Marvels game with the chat. <sighs> Just saying. <laughs> but uh anyways guys thank you so much for listening and watching and we'll catch you all in next week's episode Bye. scene <laughs>